The toll on children from this pandemic is increasing, and pediatricians are trying to get the word out. NCH, a hospital group in southwest Florida, was working on a video asking people to get informed, get vaccinated, and wear masks. And while they were filming, one pediatrician got emotional and needed to try several times to record her message about kids. This last week when I worked, I was seeing 10 or more patients a day with COVID. We admitted four of these children to the floor in one night. That has not happened during this pandemic. This is unprecedented what is happening right now in our community. And for that reason, I'm reaching out to everybody to encourage the awareness and to, to encourage safety. I'm gonna get all emotional here for a second. I'm trying to encourage everybody to please take this Delta variant very seriously due to the transmissibility. It is incredibly contagious and our children are getting sick. I can't do this. <laughs> Not long before we got that video today, we received word from Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. They're worried about the increase in pediatric COVID cases there. CBS 4's Joel Waldman is live in Hollywood with what doctors there are saying. Joel. Elliot and Lauren, good evening to you and all our viewers. In all, it's all about the numbers. Uh, in, ju in June, there were 20 patients admitted here. In July, that number jumped up to 200 or 10 times the previous amount. And already in the first 10 days of August, 160 young patients have come here to Joe DiMaggio uh, Children's Hospital, and they're on pace now to shatter last month's record. Wearing her stylish peach track jacket, this young girl is feeling anything but peachy. Too young to fully understand the serious threat of a new enemy in COVID-19, but definitely old enough to know she's not feeling too well. It seems the pediatric patients are a lot sicker than they were last year. DiMaggio Children's Hospital, which had to build this tent for its emergency room overflow, is one of many modern day battlefields in the war against a vicious virus. These well-armed doctors and nurses using some new weapons like these monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies are an IV medication where they're specific antibodies directed right at the virus. The chief medical officer at DiMaggio Children's Hospital telling us they're particularly effective in preventing hospitalizations, especially for young patients with pre-existing conditions. But these healthcare workers worry about what a return to school may mean. When you throw COVID into the mix of that, we don't know what flu is going to look like um, and the other childhood viruses and illnesses that they normally get is just a lot scarier this time. And it is scarier watching that video and listening to those physicians and nurses speak. Meanwhile, the chief medical officer here says he recommends masks for kids of all ages. And if you're 12 years or older, which is the eligible age, you should be vaccinated. Reporting live in Hollywood, Joel Wallman, CBS 4 News.